up it's angelica aka angie b welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is angelica i post a lot of videos about hair growth hair styling like today a whole bunch of other beauty related videos so if that seems like something you might be interested in please consider subscribing the subscription button is right down there as well as the bell icon the bell icon just makes sure that you get notifications every single time i post without further ado welcome to another episode of the straight hair series in today's video i'm going to be doing a bunch of fun hairstyles you can do with your straight hair because if you're like me sometimes you get to a point where you're like i've straightened my hair okay what now like i've had my hair straight it was fun for the first like four days and now i don't know what to do with it and if you are natural like me i have type 4 hair and to get it this straight is almost impossible but i managed to do it just look in the description box below and also i'll link it at the end of the video about how i straighten my hair you guys can look for that video and you see exactly how I did it. This is specifically a hairstyle video and it doesn't matter if you are natural, relaxed, if your hair is naturally straight because these are just fun hairstyles you guys can do with your straight hair. My hair is, I guess, medium length. I put short to medium because, I mean, I don't know if this qualifies as long hair. I think it's medium length. Um... To some people it might be short so without further ado let's get straight into the video i will be doing a voiceover but first let me show you everything that you're going to need any kind of comb most likely wide tooth comb at least to start you need a paddle brush or just any kind of brush and a smoothing brush it can be any kind of i've got so many tools near me it can be any kind of brush that can just help smooth your hair for any of the you know cleaner hairstyles and then you will need some bobby pins as you guys can see i literally just bought this packet of bobby pins because um i don't usually use bobby pins in my hair because you know they kind of rip your hair out but for the sake of these straight hairstyles and stuff we're gonna have a little fun and i'll have these bobby pins any kind of hair ties if you have access to any fancy hair ties like this one i love this hair tie it was really cheap. Without further ado, let us get straight into the first hairstyle. So starting with the first hairstyle, we are going into a low, half up, half down bun. This is one of my favorite hairstyles. Just gonna let you know that I'm probably gonna say this a lot because I love all these hairstyles. But anyway, you wanna start by parting your hair down the middle and then taking out some framing pieces. Now for me, I have quite a round face, so I have framing pieces with almost every hairstyle. So just know that you have the option to just tie all your hair back. So I'm using that small little pony. I do not use elastics because they rip out your hair. If you can't find any of these tiny like hair ties, you can just use a regular sized one. So I just took half of my hair like this as you guys can see and instead of pulling the hair out completely, I leave it half out and I just stretch it a little bit and then I take these little pieces from the middle and just kind of between my fingers to create a little bit of texture and then the pieces that are around, I just go ahead and bobby pin them down and you guys will see I like my hairstyle to look a little messy like you didn't try too hard because I think it looks it makes the style look even better. So now you're going to take whatever brush you have, a soft brush preferably just to brush out any parts that are sticking up i took out more framing pieces on the side and this is the first hairstyle moving on to the next hairstyle we are going to be doing a low pony with a fancy hair tie now if you don't have a fancy hair tie you can just use a regular one but i use this one it kind of has like pearls on it and you just want to put your hair in a nice low pony not too low like right at the base of your neck it should have a little bit of height to it but this is just a really nice one especially with the framing pieces just take out some nice long pieces in the front and on the sides or wherever you want to take out your framing pieces and just neaten it up a little bit but you guys can see it's not completely flat at the back and this is the look very simple, very easy, anyone can do this. I make sure to show it from all angles. And now we are going into the second hairstyle, which is my favorite lazy day hairstyle, especially if your ends are not looking too great. You do exactly the same thing you did when tying it, except this time you only pull the hair about halfway through. And you guys will see what it looks like at the back there. Then I just kind of stretch it a little bit like a slinky, only halfway, and then I'm bobby pinning the sides down. So on one side, it looks like a half bun, and you guys can see, you can still see the pearls, and on the other side of it, you can kind of see all the pearls on the inside of the bun. It's easier to see than to explain. Super cute, super easy. On to the next hairstyle. We are doing a crossover low pony. 
please tell me the correct name of this hairstyle because I don't know what it is I just think it looks super cute so you can see I'm kind of ruffling those little pieces of hairs because I don't want it to be super sleek and neat so you want to tie this a little bit higher than where you tied your previous low pony and it's still low but kind of more like in the middle of the head then you leave these huge pieces in the front and you will use these to wrap over the pony and this looks so like you tried so hard and I, I guarantee you it is actually so easy. So you wrap your hair around the pony, bobby pin it down and do the exact same thing to the other side. And you most likely have two little pieces sticking out. You can just fold those and stick them in the back as well with a bobby pin. And you have this sleek hairstyle. It looks like you tied your hair with your own hair. Super cute really amazing if you want you can take out some framing pieces pieces again like i'm doing and that is the look on to the next hairstyle for this hairstyle we are going to be doing a half up half down standard pony and this is a really nice one that is really high up and for this one we'll be using that same fancy hair tie of course again you can just use a regular hair tie if you don't have a fancy one or add a clip or something but I love this hair tie so I just want to tie it up and kind of divide it into two and then I went ahead and took this edge brush so there's absolutely nothing on it I don't like to put anything on my edges because I feel like it makes my hair revert so anyway I just use this to brush my little hairs up and that is the cute hairstyle it's got some nice height to it and it's just super cute and now for the next hairstyle we are going to edit this a little bit after you see it from all these cute angles we are going to turn this high pony into a bun you guessed it so first you want to tease your hair with a paddle brush now you can use another teasing brush or anything like that and if you have natural hair like me and you're wondering that it might break your hair it actually won't as long as you detangle it properly so anyway you see how I did that I just wrapped it around and I'm just bobby pinning any places in both directions wherever I feel like the hair needs to be pinned down if it's a little too unruly but it looks super cute when it's nice and messy and has quite a bit of height to it as you guys can see up close that is what it looks like and I just love this hairstyle it looks very effortless but you try it at the same time you know what I mean very cute on to the next hairstyle we are doing a high messy bun so this is all the hair this time one high bun and you just want to gather all your hair to the top and you want to make sure that most of your hair is angling towards the front of your head then in the middle you want it to be a pretty high bun I just brushed it with a couple different brushes whatever you feel whatever you feel like you need to gather all your hair together and I'm just taking this normal hair tie and I'm tying all my hair at the top there as you can see and then again like the half pony I'm only pulling it halfway through and the middle looks like that and you just pull it down like a slinky and start to bobby pin pieces up and of course I do rub some pieces between my fingers to create a little bit more texture and those two little pieces sticking out in the front you see I'm going to fold them backwards and pin them in the back and this depends on the length of your hair and if your hair is in layers or not it will depend on how many bobby pins you want and also how messy you want it to look I found that this was good enough for me it looked very very cute a little sophisticated again looks like you try it a little harder then I went ahead and just brushed my edges up again remember there is nothing on this brush and this is what the final look looked like if you want some framing pieces you can pull those down as well from the sides and from the front now for the next hairstyle we are going to be doing a very cute hairstyle and this is a very nice like back to school kind of hairstyle and it is pigtails I am very small personally and I don't usually do these hairstyles because I feel like it makes me look like a child but these ones are very cute and I use the same small hair ties again not elastics and you just want to do two high ponies right in the front of your head half up of course I just tied the back because I didn't want it to interfere as we undo them this is the cute little hairstyle I really like it I think it's super cute especially with the framing pieces in the front and then if you want to do some space buns I prefer this hairstyle actually very cute you do the same thing you did to the other bra to the other bun just tease it wrap it around itself create whatever shape you want and get your bobby pins and start pinning it down I'm pretty sure I only used one or two per bun in this for this hairstyle and that is the final look 
super cute, comb your hair out and you're ready to go. Okay, as you guys can see, I wanted to show you how I comb out my hair after I tease it and you can see it is very easy. It looks just like it looked before. No tangles, no matting, no breaking. So now we are going into a nice, sleek, you know, sophisticated looking hairstyle. And this is one with a very like strong side bang. So it is a low pony at the back pretty low like almost at the nape of your neck i'm just clipping this front piece of hair away so that i can focus on the back because here i actually want my hair to lay pretty flat and neat and once it's nicely brushed out you just want to tie it as many times as your hair tie can wrap around you know how it is if your hair tie is new it might only wrap around twice it might wrap around four times so just do it as tight as you can get it without it hurting you and then just start to comb the hair and sort of angle it towards the front, the hair that you have in the front of your head. The hair that you have section for the bang and I'm only using a fine tooth comb here because I needed my hair to be like super sleek. So you just want to push it to the back and then pin it back and this is kind of a tricky hairstyle because it's like a lot of hair. So even the hair at the back you just want to make sure you can pin in different directions to make sure the hair stays and then I sort of wrapped it around the way I did for that half hairstyle and there was that one little piece at the back i just saw it now but you know i couldn't see the back of my head but this is what the final looks like very sophisticated i really like this look on to the next one very similar but not the same this one is a high bun and this one is actually a high pony and this one depends again if your hair is in layers for me my hair is a little bit short so i don't always wear it like this but if your hair is longer or you actually like a really cute short pony then this is a nice hairstyle you leave the strong side bang a little framing piece on the other side and then you just have a nice high little pony with a little bit of movement to it and this is the first look in the style as you can see super cute very effortless, very easy. And if you want to just sophisticate this instantly, you can leave your hair in the exact same state that it is. But what we're going to do is just wrap that pony into a nice, cute little neat bun. And then you want to go ahead, but not very, very neat. As you know, I like things to be just a little messy. Pin it into place, whatever shape you want. You can go ahead and make that shape. And then for the side bang, you can either leave it down if you want. And that's the first look with the slick down with the huge bang or you can make it kind of like the low pony and first you want to start by wrapping it around your ear just to see if it's the right the right shape and I like to pin it kind of over my ear I pin it to the back and then whatever little pieces are facing back I also pin them sort of facing upwards towards my bun I don't know I think you can see it better as I'm doing it and depending on the length of your hair, that would dictate how many bobby pins you need. So my hair is on the shorter side and my hair is sort of like in layers in the front. So I needed a few more bobby pins. But once it is pinned down, it just looks super sleek and sophisticated. I wasn't even sure what I was doing when I was creating this hairstyle, but I really liked how it turned out. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite hairstyles are and hit my face on the left side of the screen if you didn't subscribe in the beginning and watch the two videos on the right side of the screen to see any of the other videos that you'd like to see from me that I've already posted. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!